My experience is that a lot of people don't consciously make a decision to reject God or, or to, to leave the faith. They kind of drift away um, through not a real conscious decision, but maybe because the faith hasn't been proposed to them in a very concrete way, or they don't, you know, they they haven't heard robust answers to their questions or maybe their questions haven't been answered properly. Obviously not in all cases, you do have instances where there, people are, really have made a conscious decision to be atheist and especially in the intellectual or academic kind of realms and I think this is where important for the Catholic faith and for, for preachers and teachers to, to engage with, with, with youngsters at universities and, and intellectually about the faith. If God, is the, if God is the God of all creation, that he's the God of science, he's the God of religion, he's, a, he's the God of every part of our life, we shouldn't be afraid of difficult questions. They shouldn't contradict. Faith and reason should be uh, compatible with each other. So I think especially we should engage in the kind of more intellectual questions about science, about evolution, all these different things, so people can see that faith is not irrational that it kind of can, can point to the fact that God is behind all of this ordering of the universe and can make it actually give us a broader vision uh, of, of the world and, and of faith in general. So yeah, they probably reject a notion of faith that they maybe have been given or passed on, but that's the challenge for us going into the future.